Stacy Crenshaw, put your thinking caps on because you are now tuned into True School Sports. All right, so we're here at the new Warriors boxing gym. We got Jesse Robinson over here. What's up, Jesse? And then do a brother back in now. Yeah. Is this your home gym now? Yeah, it's operation. I'm wearing it here. Okay. I'm being led everywhere. I'm like Superman. Yeah. You're, you're, you're like a chameleon. Yeah, you right. camouflage and just you're everywhere. Yeah, listen, I fit in. Yeah. I gotta make it work. Absolutely. Well, what's the sparring like here on, on, on a daily basis? Like, how's it been? The sparring. Right, so the sparring. How's the sparring been going? Oh, the sparring been great. Yeah. Um, these guys are training uh, very prestigious. Uh, completely training like army camp. Yeah. This ain't a regular boxing camp, it's an army camp. And uh, they get ready for war. Does it does it remind you of all like the Kronk gym? Somewhat, but um, they're more uh, hardcore. Here? Hardcore. Really? Very hard. In what way? Like the Russians, right? Like the, the train like That's right. Yeah. Like uh, just everything is uh, full time training. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Full time. Concentrate on focus on hardcore. Durable. Very durable. Absolutely, you got you, and you got a, a, a fantastic fighter in uh, Timo Ibrahimov right in the gym. Yeah. Um, what what's been like working with him so far? Oh, it's been excellent. You know, I was on the Warriors, and Timo was the boxer back then. Yeah. So yeah, we had a relationship all the way through, you know. And Timo is a fantastic guy. Yeah. Y'all got some history. <laughs> yeah. What do you remember about him as a fighter, Timo? Well, Timo was very technical, very technical, and he was uh, uh, a big volume of punches as a heavyweight. He wasn't no big puncher like Salton. Yeah, Salton yeah. was a big puncher. But Timo was a technical guy and moved a lot from England. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he brought uh, a lot, a lot of ability where most fighters even think it fighters. You know? Yeah. He was able to go in there and, and kind of play chess rather than checkers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All the time. That's right. Yeah. And some people like uh, Salton was a big puncher. He'd bring it up. He was short, but he was compact. You know? And he would bring power four points. Absolutely, I know. Um, I'll, during the during the whole coronavirus thing, when the, when the, when there was no boxing gyms open, right. um, I was watching a lot of like the, the late '80s welterweights, yeah. and I was actually at Stacy Gym talking talking to him about this. Uh, do you remember? Uh, do you remember Tyrone Trice yeah. at Kronk? Yeah, I was yeah. up there, at Tyrone Trice. Yeah, yeah. What do you remember about Tyrone Trice? He's a good fighter, very yeah. good fighter. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I I recently watched, I I watched both both of his fights against Simon Brown, one and yeah. two. Yeah. Well, see the thing about these guys, some guys is going to make it over and above the rest. Mm -hmm. And some guys, what your desire is, you make it so far and you're comfortable with it. Trace was a good fighter. Yeah. Like I say, he has a fault too, you know. So, you know, everybody don't make it all the way through, but he, he put on a good show this time. No, he did. I mean, he was, from what I've seen, the fights I've watched, he, yeah. for the first four or five rounds, oh, yeah. excellent, but then he, once you take it past that six, seven, push that pace, exactly. he didn't really have it. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to build fighters that go from bottom to the top. Everything hardcore. Yeah. So which which fighters are you working with right now at this moment? Oh, we got a whole gym of guys here I'm working with. Um, you know, uh, so we bring uh, another crop in uh, real soon to come in. Yeah? Six more Olympians. Uh, you Russian Olympians? Yeah, yeah, Russian Olympians. Okay. Yeah. So, so you guys might be churning out more champions from this place. I see. That's, that's what it sounds like, man. I'm, I'm here. Uh, the sky's the limit. The potential, potential uh, talent is coming in here, and I'm talking about, hey, it's gonna be the best of the best. We got guys who are gonna beat Joshua as well. uh, do, do you remember the names, by any chance? Russian names. You gotta take time. I gotta learn them. <laughs> Say. That's like when you watch, like I watch, I watch hockey, so like I, I can't pronounce some of the hockey players' names sometimes. Right, right. Yeah. So we're gonna take the time. I don't want to mess nobody's name. Yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. All right, Jesse. Uh, and, is there anything in like a boxing you're looking forward to, like as far as fights coming up? Well, yeah, it's uh, possible there's something gonna be happening soon. Yeah. You're here, buddy. Okay. Gonna be official. All right. Stuff that you have your hand, your hand involved in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, uh, any message, any message to people out there about what you guys are going on here at the new Warriors Boxing Gym? Well, after this coronavirus, I mean, you know, everybody need to regroup and work on the old positivity of get everybody comfortable again. Yes, yes. And the hungry uh, boxing fans will return with the best of fighters, you know. Absolutely. And, and we got the best of fighters. So when you bring the best, people love the best. Everybody participate when they see the best of boxing. 
Absolutely. So when people have been sitting down now, dodging the bullet, we've been standing right in front of them, on the firing line, getting ready for war. Ready for all the smoke. That's right. That's right. <laughs> all right, Jesse. Yeah. Then you're talking to True School Sports. Okay, good. Hey, this is Adrian Granados, and you're watching True School Sports.